Well, I've come down to have a bit of a fish on the Haukwa and drove into Sheepyard Flats here where I've never fished before and it's absolutely deserted. And it's probably kind of because it's cloudy, it's a bit cold, it's a bit rainy, but I've just walked down to the river here and like I'm above the bridge, there are fish rising uh, in the flat stuff. Greta's caught some nymphing, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna jump up with a nymphing rod and a nymph under dry rod and just have a bit of a fish around. Uh, Cause I don't know this section of water or this light, a little bit of an area. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting. We'll see what happens. Okay, I might throw a nymph under dry. Up the back half of this. And then I can nymph that top. Oh, wow. That fish just launched at the CDC sedge. Like first cast. Come back. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wonder if he'll come back and eat the nymph. That was crazy. <laughs> Very funky current. We'll definitely catch some nymphing up here, I reckon. Wow. <laughs> Got him. That's not that fish from before, but we'll take him. Strong fish. Nice rainbow. Come on, mate. So strong. Thank you, mate. Wow, chunky. Nice little fish. Fly popped out. Send him back. He's just on that little nymph there. Throw a couple more, but I feel like fishing two nymphs through here because it's just deep. A deep lovely run but nice to give them the option to eating the dry got him he ate that after I threw the mend so you wonder if that was um, you know the animation of the fly actually making him eat that gee that's a strong fish what That's a beautiful trout. It's like they're too strong. Too strong for their own good. Just keeping a high rod here, just because I don't want him to run around any of these boulders. Come here, buddy. That is a better fish again. Wow, look at that rainbow. Nymph on top of the mouth. Beautiful trap. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw a couple more nymph under dry up just because there's something about seeing your dry go under which is so fun. And then I'm gonna throw a couple of nymphs up there because we'll definitely catch a couple of fish, I reckon, doing that. This is crazy though. This is just like in the middle of the campground, one of the busiest areas. My CDC sedge coming down. A lot of upwelling, so the currents are kind of crazy here. Let's see if we can get one to eat up that seam. My fly just probably is not down like I would like it to be.
Jeez, there's so much lift and upwelling in there. Like your line and lead is going everywhere. All right. All right. Double nymphs at the ready. Just got such nice depth this run. Key here is just getting one to get down through that through that slot. I'm trying to just throw it up on the seam there to help those flies get down alongside the main current. Throwing that long up there. Oh, that's a nice fish. I just wanted to throw that longer to try and get a little bit more depth. And he <laughs> ate that like while it was high in the water. Oh, that's a good fish. It's a really nice fish. They're so strong. That cold water. That's a lovely rainbow trout. That is a strong fish. Da, 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 da. There we go. And he just ate your classic of classics hotspot pheasant tail. All right, let's see what else we can do. Surely we'll find another one up here. Let's toss that back up. Come on. That looks like the spot where that last one was. Just throwing that long again, just to try and give myself that depth. There he is, as that was like just getting down. Oh, it's another strong fish. Come here, buddy. You are not as big as your brother before. They're so, he's a stunning colored one. Look at that, there's like no spots on him at all. Thank you, mate. And they're all on my bottom fly, which tells you depth. Depth is definitely the key. All right, let's throw a couple more up. Oh, bad cast. This run <laughs> and hole looks incredible. It looks dark, but it's got depth, it's got a perfect bubble line. Could eat the dry, could eat the nymph. Same sort of deal. This is lovely nymph under dry and dry water. That top could throw this, 
could also European nymph it. So let's see how we go. Gonna be nice long slow drifts through here. Just gonna go under at some point. Has to, has to, has to. There he is. Oh, it's a brown. Man, that drift took a long time. That's a bit tangled. Calm down, buddy. Jeez, he's run deep. Come on. Come on, matey. Come here. Nice brown trout. Thank you, buddy. I love barbless hooks. They're so good. Now we're working here. Just repeat that. <clears throat> there seriously is nothing better than just watching your dry as an indicator and just seeing it go and then lifting into that weight. It just feels amazing. It's got a weird current, so I try to just feed that cast a bit of slack. got some serious depth like I just don't think I'm getting anywhere near them in that water there that is I might just keep working up this edge with the nymph under dry and always come back and bomb a big nymph down there later because you'd think there'd be a fish who'd be sitting up in the current here, just like on the ledge somewhere.
There he is. Oh, that's another nice fish. Another brown. First run I fished caught all rainbows. Oh no, lost a good brown. And then this run, brown trout run. Thank you, matey. Pop that fly out. So you need the length of the drift here is one of the big keys because you need that fly to get down and stay down. Short drifts, by the time your fly reaches depth, you know, your cast is over. So you really need to get right down there for them. That's a bad cast. Um, a very challenging little current there. What? <laughs> oh! No way. <laughs> that is incredible. Can this fish stay down? That's ridiculous. Oh man, how good's the halfa? How good is it? <laughs> Strong rainbows, good browns. Oh. I think you're done, Mickey. <laughs> Thank you. What? Oh. Such good fishing. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and that's just such simple fishing. Just throwing an imp under dry. Got about 70 centimeters between my dry and my nymph there. Let that mill around. What? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I'll throw one more up and then I might get the nymphing rod out. That's very much a spot that I would expect to catch one nymphing. There he is though. Oh, it's a nice brown. Come on, mate. Oh, oh gosh, this is so much fun. Oh, wow. All right. Maybe one more cast. One more cast up. Uh, key with this fishing like Nymph Under Dry and this fast stuff is that fly's got to be on this seam. If he's in that fast current, it's re I'm really going to struggle. One with take detection, but that Nymph's just going to get whizzed down away from my dry. One more up there, for fun. Ooh, nice spot there. Grab a lymphin rod.
All right. Just want to get some nymphs deep into this hole, which I didn't really get to fish before with any depth. Won't spend too long here. Just want to flick a couple through before I shoot up and fish that stuff up there. Got him. Oh, what? Wow, that must have been a big one. I just snapped him clean off on the dropper there. Oh, wow. Didn't even hit him that hard, and I just broke him clean off. Gosh. Mmm. Okay team, I've just seen a fish rise in the tail out here. He's pretty much where that little channel between the rocks is, there he was, just that tiny little sip. And again, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and again, he's just in that little backwater. I'm going to flick, it's a very awkward spot. So I'm actually just gonna flick a little CDC dry at him from here on the end of my nymphing rod, just cause the drift and the currents and everything, it's gonna be quite awkward. Oh, look at him moving. All right, I've had to change fly. I've gone down to a little plume tip. There he is there. Ah, can't believe this. I want him to eat so badly. Oh, he just did not stick. No, no, no. Oh, he's back in spot. Okay, let's try this again. My God, I can't believe this. Got him. Oh, that's a better fish than I thought. What? Wow. Did you see that eat, that little size 18 plume tip? Holy moly. What a brown. In front of the waterfall, he's been tormenting me for like, oh, for five minutes. Oh. Yo. Oh. That is a Hauka brown trout. And look at the flies in the net there. The other fly that is. Look at that little plume tip in the side of his mouth. Come on, let's untangle you and you can go back. Untangle you. <laughs> what a fish in an amazing setting. Thank you, buddy. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a few snippets of me fishing some pieces here. Greta and I just kind of hodgepodged around, fished a few runs, so I flicked the camera on 
for some nice pieces of water just to kind of showcase how cool this river is and you know you don't need to go miles to catch fish like they are we're at the campground and they're here so that was awesome hope you enjoyed that guys hope you learned something and uh yeah i'll see you next one